So I am going to turn off audio. You guys just watch me work through this. Um, I'm going to work these two. Please follow along. And then you and I, we'll just do this as a warm-up. So don't worry about that one. So here I go. I'm going to shut off my audio, and I am just going to work these, follow along. I'm going to work kind of fast because I know the videos were long. But if I go too fast, please pause it and just kind of watch and absorb what I do. All right, so I am going to chime in right here because we have not had an oblique asymptote. So look, I know that the degree fight, the winner is the numerator. So when the numerator wins, we you have are going to have a y equals mx plus b kind of line. We're going to do synthetic division. So that's a positive 1 down there, so synthetic's negative 1. And I have a degree of 2, so that's a 1. This has a coefficient of negative 2, and then the constant, there's not 1. So let's do our synthetic division. Negative 1 times 1 is negative 1. A negative 2 and a negative 1 is a negative 3. And that's it. We don't even care about the remainder. This is y equals 1x minus 3. So our oblique asymptote is y equals x minus 3. OK, so let's go ahead and continue with the process. I'm done with my red pens. X-intercepts, I'm going to have an X-intercept at 0, 0, because I have a single X out there. That's a Y-intercept also. And then we're going to have one more X-intercept at 2, 0. Y'all, both of these are to the first power, so just S and S. All right, time to plot this stuff. So I'm going to be using my ID for sure for the obliques because slanted straight lines are important. Okay, so let's go ahead and plot this stuff first. Remember, this is straight through, and you also have a positive 2. I'll say 2 is right here. It's 
straight through. Okay, and then we have a vertical asymptote at negative 1, red pen time. So here's negative 1. And negative 1 is going to be labeled, and we're going to write opposite behavior. And then we don't have a horizontal, because remember the degree 5 was the winner of the numerator. So we did synthetic. We got ourselves a little slanted line. This is x minus 3. So my y-intercept, let's just say negative 3 is here. And remember, it's up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. Now, if you want to see where it crosses the x-axis, not a bad idea. Remember, where it crosses the x-axis, y is 0. So it crosses the x-axis at 3. I'm going to say 3 is here. This is why your idea is so important. Go ahead and line those up and draw a dashed line. And don't worry, we'll have more practice in class. If you have any questions, make a note of it so we can talk about it tomorrow. There is so much craziness happening right here. So here's the deal. Um, I know this graph can't go like from down because there's no asymptote for it to follow. Remember, graphs love asymptotes, so they're going to try to hug asymptotes. Also, if I tried to go down, I'd be crossing the uh, oblique asymptote, and that's just never going to be the case. Remember, only horizontal asymptotes get crossed out, so or get crossed sometimes. All right, so look. This is going to start here. It's going to go straight through, but not for long because you've got a block right here. And it's going to follow the behavior of this. Now you have an opposite. The opposite of up is down. So you can barely kind of see the shape, but there's a little baby branch right here that you need to graph. So that's how you're going to graph those when you have an oblique asymptote.